Abby was going to sing it. Calvin Castine at Shazy Central Rural School. It's the 28th day of December 2013. This just might be our last basketball game for 2013 as we approach the new year. Temperature 33 degrees when we shut our vehicle off before the start of the modified game. It's the third game of the day. It's Northern Adirondack and visiting green and gold and the home white and green Shazy Eagles. Bobcats at the Eagles here on this. Saturday afternoon in late December. Our referees are Peter McMillan with his back to us and Tim Leary. Underneath the bucket, there's the first points of the game. Austin Gravel scores for Shazy. Cross pushes it up the floor, gets it to uh, 14 Miller. There's LaFountain. Back to cross, we have Jutman out at the point right now. Jutman with the shot, it's gonna be off the rim. Jutman gets it back for the Cats. Both teams with a player or two missing. It's uh, that time of the year between uh, Christmas and New Year's and uh, Sometimes uh, kids have family stuff going on. We're juggling our tripod legs here as the action continues on the floor. Uh, shooting there by uh, Miller. It's a three to one lead for Shazy. Oops, this didn't work, did it? <laughs> Way up in the air on our left side here. Uh, lower that. Uh, the three pointer, Austin Gravel. We struggle to get our camera right where we need it here. We're not where we'd like to be. We'd like to be near center court, but when we arrive for the modified game. Somebody beat us to the punch. They've vacated that spot now. 
But uh, Peter McMillan uh, chewed our ear off, uh, telling us all kinds of interesting stories uh, before the start of the game. And when I got back here, I then noticed that uh, I'd spotted and vacated, but too late to move over. So it's always interesting to listen to the insights of Peter, but uh, if he was less insightful today, I would have. Uh, <laughs> I'm closer to the center of the court right now. Maybe I'll move over there at the halftime. Unless somebody fills in that vacancy in the meantime. This looks a lot like Alec Lapeer. He misses the first. This is a non-league game. Shazy and Division two of the new Northern Basketball League. Northern Adirondack in Division One. So it's a non-league encounter. Gay will inbound it. Uh, only 16 to 2 uh, time-wise right now on the clock. And uh, this game was, they're anticipating maybe a 2 o'clock start. Basket by number 32 in your program, Sam Provost. Uh, we're anticipating a 2 o'clock start, it's the third game of the day. So tracking early is fine with us. Cross the shot is bouncing in. Makes it eight to four, Eagles. And just from the side of the arc, Provo's shot is missed. Cross races it down the floor, shot is thrown up. And rebounded by, by Provost off the shot by Miller. with the full court pressure. with a shot and falls in for his second three-pointer makes it 8-7 now Lapeer working to get his way in trips the mountain pushes it forward and Gutman stops and pops and it's a, a one-point lead for Shazy, Corey Thompson calls a timeout. Nate Bilo is pleased with what's happening in the last minute. Jay inbounds it to Keegan O'Connor, and first quarter action continues here with Shazy trailing for the first time. by Lapeer and he is fouled. No, oh, jump ball. Jump ball is fouled. <laughs> the 
Fountain will grab. In the paint, Dutton. Cross for the rebound, puts it up. Cross will inbound. 3 0 1 on the clock. Smart. Z in a 2-3 defense. And Smart draws the foul. Foul is on Gay. Jack Janier in for Gay. Even had it gone in, it uh, would not have counted. The violation on the crossing the line to soon on Green. He goes into the forecourt, trailing by a point. Two to go in the opening quarter. Problem, we'll give the ball back to the Bobcats. Fountain to cross, beat the 10 second. So, oops. NAC 118 to go in the first quarter. Seconds to go in the quarter. Cross with the shot. And the Bobcats will keep it. Ten seconds to go. Cats will look for the last shot. The fountain, four seconds. And 
shot taken by Miller. Well, the Cats get the last shot, but they're unable to get it to foul. They lead by two after one, 12, excuse me, lead by one after one, 12-11. Crazy ball, they're down by, oh, no. <laughs> now it's back to 12-10. Uh, thought the score was 12-10, and glance at the scoreboard as they end the quarter, and it says 12-11. I don't know where Shazy had picked up that point, but what the heck. There's a basket by uh, Josh Jutman. So it went back to 12-10. Now it's 14-10 as Juttonen hits a long two-pointer. Provost. No whistle. to 10. And Hayden Gay comes, comes in and throws up uh, a triple. 17-13 Bobcats. This is a uh, Gravel. Shazy has a timeout. They trail by four with 626 showing in the second quarter. Shazy with the three-quarter court press. And 10 seconds, almost. Gravel with the steal, misses the layup, uses the glass, Austin Gravel. And smart with a block on the shot attempt by Lapierre. Over there! misses. Provost with the rebound. Lapierre. Smart. Really taking up some room on defense out there. He's a few inches taller than. Uh, Anybody Shazy has on the floor, and quite a few inches taller than most of them. <laughs> Reflected by Gay, but uh, two Bobcats get it right back. Here's Cross working his way through. Tries to force it to the fountain, goes out of bounds. It'll be Shazy Ball. Gay will inbound it to O'Connor. He goes trailing by four with 5.05 on the clock here, second quarter. Travel. Eagles take it away, Robos, the gay. Of a move. A heck of a move by Hayden Gay. Cross will throw up a three pointer. 
Rebounded by Gravel. Two pointer would tie it. O'Connor hits a triple. And Shazy takes the lead, 18 17. Cross lands on his elbow. And foul be on. 3 2 will be Provost. Cross misses the first. 356 showing. We have number five in for the Bobcats, Scott Kellett. job by Juttonen to keep that alive and catch it. Two points out of it to take the lead back 19-18. Gay throws it up. Rebound Kellett. Now we have a foul on Gay. He will set. That's probably his third at least. Backcourt fouls are not always a smart thing. Not always a smart thing because uh, you need to play tough defense, but those backcourt fouls are, are not always a smart thing. It looks like some young fellas have taken my spot that I was going to at halftime. Three twenty-seven to go in the first half. Scores. If you're wondering who came in, uh, it was Jack Janier who came back in for Shazy to replace Gay. Provost. There's Gravel. I have a push on the Cats. 21 18 NAC leading. Less than three to go in the first half. Shot by O'Connor, rebounded Katz. There's Juttonen to cross. 42, Kane K.A. is in for the Bobcats. Like it went off the fingertips of Janier to me. Tim Larry was standing three feet away, he saw it otherwise. Light ball. Bobcats 23 18. We're at 145 in the second quarter. Connor shot. Rebound Provost. And we foul on Jutman. Gravel to inbound it. Minute 33. Out is short. Rebounded K.A. Yeah. Lapeer, he is fouled. 
fouled by Juttman. That's two quick fouls on Juttman. Be a one and one. One eighteen on the clock. Second quarter. Alec Lapierre at the line, shooting a one and one. He makes the first, so let's give him another one. Started. I mentioned in the prior games, uh, NAC players are used to that, used to having a slow clock. So Shazy wants to make them feel at home here, so they're, they're late in starting the clock too. One oh eight remaining in the first half. Three point lead for the Bobcats. Traveling call. So Jay-Z will have a chance to tie it with a three-pointer. Keep the ball moving. Jenner to uh, Connor, the provost. Short, rebounded by Smart, 27 seconds. Dutton, across. Bobcats will look for the final shot. Up by three. Take the final shot of the half. And we got, what we got? Blocking for a legal screen on the Bobcats. So, it's not going to work out for NAC. Eagles will get it with 11.7 on the clock. And here's going to be blocked. Smart with a rebound. Jutton in at the buzzer. 23-20. Bobcats lead at the half here on viewer-supported local television hometown cable. As soon as Hayden Gay gets them on the floor here, we'll start the second half. Over and back. Oh. Two seconds in, I don't know, I don't know what happened there. I think we call it over and back, but I didn't see it. So I wasn't paying enough attention. Hayden Gay misses, rebound. Uh, Jutman. La Fountain. Pass picked off momentarily and it's going to That's going to be an over and back. Brothers is in the game. Here's Provost to O'Connor, the brothers. Foul is on Provost. Cross will inbound to La Fountain. Cross to La 
fountain. Gary got a hand on it. Jutnan back to the fountain. Cross shot. And Lapierre with a good effort on the rebound. A minute into the second half. Score remains 23 20, Bobcats. Three for the tie. Nope. Rolls off the rim. Smart with the rebound. Cats hustle it down the floor. Back to cross. Pulls up for a jumper from the top of the key. And. Robles has picked up another foul, so two quick fouls here in the second half, and he's gonna set, and Gravel will come in for him. Austin Gravel in for Sam Provost, who's picked up two fouls in the first uh, minute 23 of the second half. I don't know how many he had at the halftime. Air ball put up by Smart. Brothers pulls it down. A bank shot, barely kissed the front part of the backboard. And it went in, so LaPierre says, I will take that. That's what I meant to do. Brings his team back to within one. Cross dishes it off, Smart pushes it out. Here's a shot from the elbow by, uh, by uh, who's that, uh, Miller. Shazy Ball, a chance to take the lead. Gravel, no, that's not Gravel, that's uh, O'Connor. Here's Brothers. Okay, now Gravel has it. And Shazy takes the lead with a three-pointer from Hayden Gay. And they now lead 25 to 20. Bobcats have yet to score here in the second half. I believe that was on Brothers. 516 showing here in the third. The fountain into the corner to uh, cross. And Dutton shot is missed. He goes after the rebound. Under five showing in the third. A little short jumper is off the mark by O'Connor. Here comes Juttonen. Now cross. Uh, brothers. by LaFountain. Juttonen for three. And it's a triple for Josh Juttonen. And the visitors are back up by a point. 26 to 25. Four to go in the third quarter. We're 62.5% through this ball game. Shot by Gravel, rebounded by Cross. Now in the back, he goes weaving. He was a weaving, and he was fouled. Let's see who's the uh, foul on. Foul's on Lapier. Cross looking to add to his team's one point lead. And a 7 25, Shazy timeout. And Cross looking for his second shot.
Missed, rebound to Lapeer. Gay, long pass up to Brothers. And we're tied 27 all. About three and a half to go in the third. Stolen by Gay. Gay to Brothers. There's Lapierre for three. One to go, but it didn't. Uh, Brothers fouls Labarge going for the rebound. Green ball, 3.07 on the clock. 27-27. Dutton and New. And the off uh, Gravel. Cross will inbound it. To Smart. Smart again. No. Smart again. No. Smart again. Smart. Playing it smart there, he's just building up his rebound total. Ejected by Smart. Smart was building up his rebound total there. He got three rebounds, so three or four rebounds there to add to his total. Averaged about 10 rebounds a game, and eight of them were on her own missed shots. 29 27, 227 to go here in the third quarter. Bobcats with a scant lead and the ball. Steps on the line, Levard. Uh, we got a sub in. We got 32 provosts coming in for Gay. Gay and Provost both in foul trouble. Gravel gives the Provost back to Gravel. Drives. And Smart tips it over to Juttonen. Under two to go in the third. Juttonen to La Fountain. Cross goes low to Smart. Smart. It's another bucket. 31-25. There's a foul on Cross. Foul on Cross. Gravel will inbound it. Eagles trail by four with 136 showing in the third quarter. Inbounded to Lapeer. And blocked by Juttman. Here's LaFountain. Shot by Gay, that's short. No, that wasn't Gay, that was O'Connor, it was short. Comes La Fountain. Cross, too strong. Rebound Juttonen, and whoa, 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 whoa. Technical foul. Mr. Provost has probably seen the last of this game. Well, 
So Janir will come in for him. Jotnan will shoot the technical. One free point for the Bobcats. shooting foul or an intentional foul I guess. Intentional foul and a technical foul. I'm not sure what to... Definitely a double foul. And Bobcats get the ball and they pick up three points on the play so that certainly did not help the Shazy efforts. Rebound Brothers. 33 seconds to go in the third, stolen by LaFountain. Foul on O'Connor. Five point eight on the clock, third quarter. The shot was missed, rebounded by Brothers. Rolls it down the floor, Cross picks it off. Mark can't get a handle on it, we're gonna have a reach on the Cats, probably Labarge. No, nope, LaFountain, foul on LaFountain. Have a Shazy timeout. It's a different ball game than it was a minute and a half ago. They were in it. Now they're down by seven. And somehow Shazy picked up a point there. It was 34-27. Now it's 34-28. Brothers. 14 seconds to go in the third. Gravel. The brother. We have a foul on Labard. 7.1 to go. Perhaps they're going to probably be a little quicker with the whistle following that little uh, unnecessary skirmish. There's O'Connor. Janier. Three seconds. They're not going to get a shot off. They're not going to get a shot off. Jay-Z players had forgotten how much time there was on the clock. Inexcusable. I remember I told you the Eagles have picked up a point. So did the Bobcats. It's 35-28. I don't know what happened there, but that's the score after three. Gay into Gravel to the brothers. Jay-Z down by seven. Right. Jay with the three, rebounded by LaFountain. Jutton and Travel. And uh, Ravel. Gets across the timeline. No foul, blocked by Smart. Two brothers. Too strong. Here comes Cross. Fountain over to Juttonen. It's 
Jay-Z stays in that, uh, I'm not sure what they're in, a man-to-man -man maybe? because Gravel is over on the far side here. They're playing a, a box in one. Uh, somebody guarding uh, Smart. Foul on Gravel. Oh, foul's on Cross. Foul's on Cross, excuse me. Way Gravel was reacting. <laughs> was thinking it was his foul. Foul was on the cross. The scoreboard. <laughs> uh, very interesting. It's now back to 34-27. <clears throat> it said 34-27. Then it said 34-28. Then it said 35-28. Was back to 34-27. That's basket by Cross. It was 36-27. Rebounded by Cross. Under six to go in the game. Bobcats up by nine, no travel. In the paint, rejected. <laughs> now we have LaBarge in, he's gonna replace LaFountain. Only two points have been scored here in the fourth quarter with 4.13 gone, or 3.13 gone, 3.13. Rebounded by Brothers off the shot by Cross. Up to O'Connor, O'Connor throws it up off the rim, rebounded by Brothers. Viewers supported local television, hometown cable. Families who are faithful supporters and some that uh, enjoy hometown cable but have never found it necessary or important enough to support us. But we need everybody's support. So if you're one of those who've been meaning to do it or hadn't even thought about it before, we need your support to keep this programming coming. Okay, this is 316. So when I said it was three something before, it was actually two something into the period. Start learning how to do basic math here, I guess. Clock is still ticking. Clock is just stopped. They ran off an extra three, four seconds. Right over there, they did it. Not exactly a home court advantage. <laughs> the home team runs the clock when you're behind. Basket by, uh, who was that? Uh, Gay, I think. 36-30. Those were the first points of the second half for the Eagles. Well, Sh uh, Shazia has scored three here in the, not the second half, but the fourth quarter. Shazia has scored three here in the fourth quarter, and the Bobcats just two. And we're at the 4-10 mark, so we're almost halfway through the period. Stolen by Brothers. And Zach Brothers is 
has made it a four point ball game. Fouls on 22 will be Gravel. The hold, the fountain shooting. Two shot foul. So that previous foul back when the technical occurred may have been a one and one. Not a two shot on the first one. Just didn't think there'd been that many fouls at that point. Fountain hits that one. They can't get a five point game. 37 22, 32. 345 and counting. Air ball. Cross. Picks it up. Gives it to Jutnan. Eagle fans want to charge. Gay throws one up. Rebounded by Smart. Cross will bring it back. 3 to 12 to go in a game. Cross draws the foul on Brothers. And we'll raise our tripod back up here. <clears throat> 39 32. Cross looking for the three point play with 310 on the clock. And he gets it. I'll make it 40 to 32. Eight point Bobcat lead. They led by seven coming into the fourth. Connor is able to keep it, gives it to Lapierre. Lapierre fires it out to Gay. Brothers with a bounce pass to Lapierre. Blocked by Smart. And the fountain brings it up. Fountain will shoot two. Can make it a 10 point lead here with 243 showing. It's the first. And it's a double digit difference for the first time in the game. It's 42 32, 240 to go. Brothers. 17 on the shot clock. Brothers fires it up off the rim. Fire follows his shot and he's fouled by Jutman. Well, brothers will shoot. We have Question at the scoring table. This is the first. 222 on the clock, 42 32 the score. Well, the second shot is off the mark. Rebounded by Jutman. Oh. 
across, in and out. Smart. Nice second and third effort there by Brady Smart. Was his team up by a dozen with under two, 153 on the clock. Rebounded cross. Foul on Lapeer. Shazy will probably get a double deficit loss here, but uh, I think I saw a lot of improvement between this game and the first time we saw them up in the in Ellenberg at the Bobcat shootout. Of course, they were mismatched against uh, Northeastern, but uh, <clears throat> the second game against the Bobcats, I think they've improved uh, this time out. Kane will come in. He'll replace Labarge. Others gets the rebound. Gravel, 45, 32 the score. We go to Lapeer, Lapeer is able to draw the foul. He uses his body to, uh, to get the contact against uh, Smart. 131 on the clock. Alec Lapierre will shoot two. It's the first. <laughs> 35, 34, 131 in the clock. Timeout for Corey Thompson. K8 inbound. And across. Oh, the shot is missed. Foul is on the Bobcats. 117 on the clock. Brothers will shoot a one and one. It's the first. 45 35. This is the second. Rebound Jutnan. 112 left. Fouling at this point, 10 point difference, double bonus, 51 seconds to go. Fountain hits. Team back up by a dozen. O'Connor into the forecourt. Gives it to Gay. Gay shot rattles off the rim. Back to Gay from Gravel. And the Bobcats are fouling. They, they don't need to be stopping the clock. They should be playing uh, defense, but avoiding fouls. 
one and one for Hayden Gay. It's the first. Not a good move. Make make the basket, but, uh, or attempt at least attempt to. <clears throat> Five second violation. <clears throat> Gay better get that uh, hit the front front of the rim and rush in out of his playbook. Three pointer by uh, Keegan O'Connor. And it's an eight point ball game with 32.2 and the Cats turn it over. Shazy ball. They trail by eight, 32 to go. Brothers will inbound it. Is it a two Lapierre, throws up a three. Foul on Juttonen on the rebound. Bobcats are cooperating with Jay-Z here. They're stopping the clock. <laughs> Must be the ninth team foul. It's a one and one. Brothers misses. Rebounded smart. Off the uh, knee of uh, Gay, I guess. 26 seconds. Down the floor for Smart. And foul on the beer. Wasn't a lot of contact there, but Brothers is in the air, and uh, any kind of contact, the ref's got to protect that, that fellow that's in the air. Wasn't a lot of contact there. Just a little bit more, and brothers could have been uh, out of control. So better to err on the side of safety than to uh, do not make that call. 49 39, 22 seconds. Back to a double digit lead for the Bobcats. It's going to go out of bounds. Green ball with 15 seconds to go. 10 point difference. Uh, Shazy. Shazy doesn't know that this game is over. Picked off by LaPierre. Whoop. Nine seconds. Smart rebounds, and that'll end it. Those double digits, 49-39. Northern Adirondack defeats the Shazy Eagles, and that's the way it was in non-league basketball. And these two Northern Basketball League teams on this December 28th, 2013. You're watching viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. And if you're watching this, we need your support to keep this programming coming. Our thanks to those of you who understand and who support our continuing efforts. Thanks for watching.